I really had no idea what to expect when I visited Christmas Island and Cocos Keeling Islands recently, except for what the marketing manager for Christmas Island, Linda Cash, and the marketing manager for Cocos Keeling Islands, Jules Bush, told me at ATE. But I soon realized these were amazing but very different locations. Christmas Island was my first stop on this Indian Ocean adventure, a volcanic outcrop only around 350 k's from Indonesia, but it's one of the world's most impressive natural destinations, often referred to as the Galapagos of the Indian Ocean. And the only way to get there is with Virgin Australia from Perth, which takes around four hours. Expect to be surprised, actually very surprised indeed, when you arrive at Christmas Island because this is Australia, in the heart of the Indian Ocean, a place chock full of natural wonders, including the unique annual red crab migration, and amazing rare and unusual birds that stop off on their annual migrations, making it a bird watcher's paradise. Christmas Island has glorious deserted beaches, where the only footprints in the sand are those made by nesting turtles, and it has amazing sunsets, but with the island's population including Australians of course, Malays, Chinese and many more, it's a curious amalgam of cultures, history and industry. And it's just a very unusual travel experience indeed. Yet it's in Australia. Just surreal. For great places to stay and things to do on Christmas Island, all you have to do is visit the Christmas Island Tourism Association website at www.christmas.net.au and their excellent team will do the rest.